you what? to play better. Look at who's sitting next to me right now. My personal vote for Rookie of the Year, the one and only Donovan Mitchell, the Utah Jazz, is sitting right next to me. What do the Cavs have to do to win game three? Uh, they got to come out firing. You know, take, our coach always says, you know, take 35 plus threes. Uh, if, you could, if you allow them to take 35 plus threes, you get that confidence with it. And guys got to step up. Uh, I heard Hood's about to get his chance tonight. Uh, I feel like he's going to have a big uh, integral part in, in, the, in this win. Andre Iguodala's out on the court warming up. Mm -hmm. The belief is, is that he will play tonight. Yep. What do you think he does for the Golden State Warriors? He takes that pressure off of KD and Draymond to have to guard Braun. You know, he does so many things defensively that go without being noticed by a lot of people who, who don't really know the game. You know, so with him, he gave me a lot of problems <laughs> right. all season. So it's going to be, uh, um, I hope he does come back. You know, I miss watching a guy like that. But if you're team. out for six games, Donovan, and then you come back and you're assigned to defending LeBron James, how does that, how does that vote for you? I, I mean, it'll be tough, you know, but I think... You know, getting your win back, getting your rhythm back, and kind of getting, staying in tune. But a guy like him, you know, he's, he's got his work, and he's done his film work. Um, it should, he's been playing against Braun for the past three years, so he knows what it takes. Uh, it'll be tougher, you know, seeing Braun averaging 40, like you said, but I think it'll be up for the challenge. We know what LeBron should do, what he probably will do, because he's LeBron. Yep. Anybody specifically stands out and resonates in your mind as to needing to step up for the Cleveland Cavaliers in order to win game three tonight? I think... Rodney Hood or Kyle Korver, one of the two. Um, for, for them, if, if they hit their first shot, you know, gets going, and being back home, being on your home floor, you hit that first shot, feeling good. Now you're playing a better defense. Now you're in the passing lane. Now you're getting steals, doing all the little things that get you going. And um, Rodney helped with an integral part of my success in Utah, and I, I, I expect him to do something big tonight. Have you spoken to Rodney Hood? During the I have. What has he said to you about his mentality, how he's feeling, particularly about tonight's opportunity? I decided not to ask him about it, let him go out there and do his thing. You right. know, I got everybody talking to him about it, so I decided to go out there and just ask him how he's doing and say hello to the wife and kids. Give us, an, uh, give us some insight into his personality and the kind of individual that he is in terms of what he's made up for for a challenge like tonight. What people don't know is... Rodney Hood was a starting two guard in Utah when I got there. And, you know, a lot of guys who come and you have a rookie come in, a lot of, some teams, some guys kind of push the rookie off to the side and say, I'm here to get paid, I'm here to handle my business, you can figure it out on your own. He helped me every single day. We were shooting groups, um, whether it was off the floor, whatever it may have been, he was, he was the guy I went to. Um, and he, he, he's, he's an incredible guy and he's, he's quiet. You know, he's laid back and, you know, that's why you don't really hear much from him, but he's, he's a, He's a guy that was really integral, integral part in, in on helping me. On a personal note, I know that I watched the Utah Jazz and watched you be that star, and you corrected me, rightly so, this morning on first take when I pointed out how LeBron had to carry a load, you had to carry a load. You talked about how different it was for you compared to how it was, or it is rather, for him. Mm -hmm. Explain that to my, my viewers out there. So, you know, when you, when you said this morning about LeBron and he's averaging 41, I'm not averaging 40. I know that. <laughs> okay. But, um, you know, we play a team basketball. We moved the ball with more of a European style of, of basketball with, with Quinn Snyder and running that offense. And everybody, go. you look at game two against Houston, Joe Ingles had 27. Ricky had a triple-double uh, in game three. And, and, and game, uh, game two, excuse me. Um, in game four, he went out and did his thing as well. So everybody does big things. Jay Crowder, even though we lost, came out and had a career high in the playoffs 26-27. So guys, um, we have a bunch of guys that like to, uh, to kind of get off and we move the ball. And it doesn't matter who it is, even big fella. Rudy happens in 20 and 10, you know, whatever it may have been, uh, doing doing his thing. And I think it's a little bit different. It's more ISO game with Braun, and then he passes it and finds guys for shots. And it's worked the past eight years, but I think that's a little bit of a difference. Always good seeing you. You got the Cavs winning tonight? Yes, sir. All right. Good to see you. I Keep up the great it. work. You. One of only Donovan Mitchell for the Utah Jazz. Yes. Rookie of the year. You got Iguodala on the basketball court right now, shooting the basketball, no apparent pain in his knee, doesn't seem to be concerned about it at all. Obviously, he'll play tonight. It looks that way. And, of course, KD's going to play in 12 NBA Finals games appearances.